brioche buns were all the rage, but now it's all about milk buns. And I'm going to show you how to make them. I love them because it's soft white bread. I'm going to season mine with some sesame seeds. Now I'm going to prepare mine from the kneading stage to the proving stage in the eye companion. And we'll start with the flour. So I've got the kneading and crushing blade inserted. We'll add some plain flour along with some butter and this is what makes it distinct. Not only the milk, milk buns, but butter and a hint of sugar. We'll add that along with some sugar. When making any bread you need a pinch of salt and the lid can go on. And now it's as simple as pressing the pastry function. And you'll see that it says P1, so this is program one, and it goes for two and a half minutes. So two and a half minutes is the perfect amount of time to knead this bread. Of course you can do this by hand, but this is just so much easier. So we'll start this and we'll just give that 30 seconds just so it can chop up the butter in our bowl. Over here is seven grams of instant yeast and I've added some warm water to it. You can see that it starts to bubble away. That means that the yeast is activated. So we're going to add that in a moment along with some milk. So it is a milk bun, so there's our milk and one egg. So I'll crack one egg into our milk. Give that a whisk. And I'll start by removing the stopper. We'll add our active yeast first. So we'll just drizzle that in. Great. Might just scrape down that too. And now we're going to add our milk mixture. By doing this, we're just slowly incorporating the liquid to the dry ingredients. And this is a really handy tip because you're just going to slowly catch the dry ingredients and it's going to form a ball of dough and knead it. So there's one more minute on the clock for this to knead. After that, it automatically turns over to the proving stage. It's going to prove for 40 minutes at 30 degrees. dough has been proving for 40 minutes at 30 degrees so it's nice and warm and let's have a look. Wow, it has really doubled in size, it's fluffy, it's just right. Now I always get sad at this part because we have to knock it back and prove again so I'll take the blade out, look at that, that is a very good looking dough indeed. We'll just clear that off. And just with your hands, use a bit of flour just to scrape it all up. We'll pop that onto our board. And you'll see it is a sticky dough by nature. That's how it should be. A little extra flour onto the board. And just gather it all up so it's not sticking anymore. Now I need to divide this into six even portions and we're going to roll. So we'll cut it in half first. Cut this into three. And three again. I'll get my tray ready, just a little baking paper, and just knead it slightly and then roll so we've got a perfect ball of dough. We'll pop that onto the tray and you do want to make it into the shape of a bun, so that's looking good. And don't forget, it is going to almost double in size again. I will add a little egg wash, so this is just one egg that I've whisked, lightly brush it, and this is almost going to act as the glue too. So I'll add some sesame seeds. I love the addition of sesame seeds. We'll sprinkle them over the top and that's our first one done. I'm gonna continue on with the process and then allow it to prove for at least one hour or until they double in size. I've also got a little tea towel on standby. We'll cover them just to put them to bed for an hour. One hour later, look at the results. Oh, 
They have really doubled in size. Now we're ready to bake these gorgeous milk buns. They're going to take about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Well, I am so impressed with the results of my gorgeous milk buns. These are ready. Let them cool. You could use them to make some homemade hamburgers, fill them up with all sorts of things, maybe some prosciutto, or do what I'm doing, which is just filling them with some butter, particularly when they're still warm like this. I want to show you how soft they are in the centre. Oh, look at that. That's why a milk bun is so prized while it's still warm, some soft butter straight over the bottom. You know, when it's this good, you don't need anything else. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Nothing beats homemade bread. Give it a go.